Hello, Member of Parliament Mark Werwa here in beautiful Langley Alder Grove, and I'm honored to represent our, our community. And we've heard so many concerns, people calling our office, emailing our office, and very upset about a recent announcement by uh, the Trudeau government here in Canada. They announced as, as summer began that they're going after tax cheats. And, um, and who would not be opposed to going after tax cheats? But the, the concern is, who does Trudeau think these tax cheats are? And I'm, I'm with Scott Johnston. Uh, Scott, uh, you're the former president of the Langley Chamber of Commerce and did an incredible job in that role. Um, you're also a lawyer, a well-known lawyer, and you represent a number of clients here in the greater Vancouver, Fraser Valley area. So uh, I'm sure you've heard the same thing from people you represent. Who are these tax cheats that um, the Prime Minister is going after? Well, thank you, uh, Mark. As a business lawyer and corporate counsel for hundreds of small businesses in uh, Langley, I can tell you that the overwhelming majority of my clients are one woman, one-man shops. Uh, these are family small businesses that have chosen to incorporate uh, for the purposes of limited liability, but also to take advantage of tax planning measures such as income splitting. These are small businesses, these are families, these are the middle class. These are not the wealthy fat cats that the Liberal government will have you believe they're taxing. This is your, your Main Street uh, average family small business. And uh, the feedback that I'm getting from my clients uh, is that these myopic proposals will cost them additional tax and perhaps have a chilling effect on uh, future entrepreneurs. Scott, as the chamber, you know that, uh, chamber president, uh, past president, you know that it is small business that's the economic engine here in Canada. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, the Greater Langley Chamber of Commerce has close to a thousand member businesses. Uh, the vast majority uh, of those members are, as I said earlier, one woman, one man uh, shops. It's small businesses in Canada that create jobs. It's small businesses that are the driver of our economy. And uh, for some reason, uh, the federal government I is taking aim at uh, uh, costing these businesses additional tax. Remember, Small business uh, people, uh, entrepreneurs, are not the same as employees. Uh, these are the businesses that are out there taking all the risk. They're the ones putting their home, homes on the line, uh, taking out loans. They're not paid overtime. They don't get medical, dental, parental benefits. And there's no guarantee that their business will succeed. And so if we remove and uh, eliminate all potential rewards, for incurring such colossal risk. What chilling effect does that have on our future entrepreneurs and our economy as a nation? So why would the government uh, call small business tax cheats? Uh, it's, it's baffling everyone and, and the rate of taxation that the, that the government wants to charge them is uh, unbelievable. I've heard uh, rates of 72%. Yes, uh, it looks like uh, the rate on passive income in a corporation could be well uh, above that. It could be 73% 70, uh, in some cases. Um, as for the inflammatory language, uh, I have no explanation. Uh, many small business owners uh, would have voted uh, for this party and, uh, and frankly feel uh, betrayed. Well, uh, Scott, the government has put a... Um has made a statement that uh, they're going to go ahead with this, but they've also given a uh, a, a date, which is in a week from now, uh, that uh, the consultation, so-called consultation, is ending. Uh, do you feel that this is a legitimate consultation? Well, I guess that remains to be seen. Uh, I've made the comment, it seems like it's fait accompli. Uh, a 75-day consultation period for the most substantial tax changes in 50 years uh, doesn't seem uh, right. And I think a lot of the backlash that uh, I'm, I'm hearing from, from my clients and the Langley small business community is that 75 days is not a long enough period of time uh, to discuss and actually uh, seek meaningful input on, on such uh, substantial changes. So uh, whether or not it's fait accompli, uh, we'll, we'll see, I, I suppose. Uh, but uh, let's hope that it's a consultation and not a talking to.
Well, I think all Canadians hope that. And um, so uh, I, I will promise to continue to listen and report what I'm hearing. Uh, I know a number of the Liberal uh, surrounding Liberal MPs are hearing very similar concerns. Um, and um, they will then pass them on to the Prime Minister, hopefully, uh, the concerns that they're hearing. But uh, the consultation period of representing uh, small business, uh, hard-working Canadians, um, without pensions uh, that uh, I will continue to report what I hear. But uh, thank you so much, Scott, and for the good work you do, and let's hope the government's listening. Thank you, Mark.